How you doing? Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today I want to talk about um, Christmas and the New Year without alcohol, right? Uh, I've generally done a, a video like this almost every year since I've stopped drinking. Um, and generally I think, you know, because I'm a different, another year down the road, uh, I think these things might make a bit more, more sense the more I get into them, you know? So, um, whether you're quitting drinking alcohol just before Christmas or whether you quit last January and this is your first Christmas into it. I think you're approaching this from two different two different angles. I think if you if you were just stopping drinking, um, let's say you've you, you, you've started on the beginning of December or the beginning of November or something and you're a couple of months into it or a couple of weeks into it even. Um, if you can get over this period in time, this Christmas holiday and all the celebrations and all the temptations that are around this is going to give you some hell of a, a boost for um, carrying on, you know, for the new year. You'll have a not only the motivation that you've, you've got from, um, uh, from having that boost, but you'll also get a bit of extra confidence, a bit of extra um, pat on the backedness, you know, if you like, uh, that you can use on yourself, you know, and you can sort of say, well, if I can get through that, I can get through anything. If you're coming at it from a year down the road, I wouldn't worry about it. It's just another day, right? This is, um, there's going to be no pressure um, to drink for you. You've already gone through so much during the year. If you've gone through a full year of not drinking, um, you've gone through birthday, you've gone through other celebrations and stuff like this. And at the end of the day, Christmas is no different. Um, the best thing that you can be doing now, a few days before Christmas, is to plan uh, and to know where you're going to be, um, know who's going to be around you, um, know what kind of temptations are going to be there and plan to deal with those, you know. Like I say, if you're a year down the road, I don't think this is going to affect you that much. If you're a couple of weeks into this or a couple of months into it, you know, it might affect you a bit more, but it's still very doable, you know, you can still, you can still do this. So, you know, being forewarned is forearmed, you know, plan these things out. Um, prepare yourself, uh, prepare what you're going to drink, take the drinks with you if necessary, you know, get some fancy, um, whatever it is that you want, you know, alcohol-free drink, make some of it, you know, there's plenty of recipes on, online, just go into YouTube or onto Google and type in uh, non-alcoholic Christmas festive drinks and you'll find loads of stuff there. Make some of that in advance and take that with you. Um, next thing I'd say to you is just to take it easy on yourself, you know, this is um, a lot of people have just so much pressure which is attached to this specific period of time you know uh, I love Christmas because it's such a fun time it's a it's a time of celebration it's a time to celebrate the end of the of, of the final of the year that's just gone by um, the more you get into this without alcohol the more you'll have to celebrate um, and the more you'll want to celebrate this time of the year and to to bring in the new year you know it's a time for celebration it's a time for uh, celebrating what's new and the possibilities for the for the new year for 2018 you know um so uh enjoy it um enjoy it you know get up and uh, you know plan what you're going to do be with your friends be with the people that you love have the food that you want to eat um and enjoy it and as far as anything else is concerned you know take it easy you know this it's not about boozing it up that's what we've made it into over the years you know um as a society not just as individuals but as a society so um enjoy it enjoy the festivities enjoy the people um get on with things right try and keep things as simple as possible you know don't make it complicated you know christmas doesn't have to be complicated you know we make it complicated for ourselves my mum used to do this thing where, you know, we were, we had a big family, you know, my mum used to spend from September onwards uh, going out and buying presents for us all. So there was uh, five boys and four girls and she'd be buying them out of her, uh, her uh, from, as I say, from September and she'd be wrapping them up and she'd have them all ready. Uh, and, and she'd have this thing where, um, you know, all of our friends, you know, they would get up in the morning and they would open up the Christmas presents straight away on Christmas Day. My mum used to love to spread it out. So we'd have a certain amount of presents that we could open, like a stocking full of these small presents, trinkets. 
um, that we'd open first thing in the morning that you know we'd given the bag each that father christmas had brought us you know uh, and we were allowed to rip open those and play with those in the morning and then we were given another present then just before dinner and then the rest of the presents we could open after dinner you know but over the years she she just stretched this thing out you know so eventually you know one of the last christmases i spent at home we were um eating these things at, at Oh, I thought we'd run out of our battery then. We were eating these things, uh, we were opening these presents um, closer to New Year's Day than we were anything else, you know? So it was a, it was a bit of madness, you know? So, you know, just um, remember that it, it's a simple day at the end of the day. It's just another day, um, regardless of what's going on. Um, you know, a lot of the crap that happens at Christmas is because of the alcohol, you know? Uh, you know, a lot of the arguments that happen are because of alcohol. A lot of the stress and the strain is happening because of the alcohol. People are trying to do all this stuff while they're intoxicated. And when I'm talking about intoxicated, your brain and your body is, you know, has a poison running through it and your body is fighting this. And at the end, you know, at the same time, you're trying to deal with all these other things and trying to have a good time. And, you know, it just doesn't work. So it's a simple day. Get over that day, you'll be patting yourself on the back and I'll see you in the new year. Same thing with the new year, it's going to be good. Uh, 2018 is going to be a brilliant one. I'll end this video by wishing you all a very happy Christmas and uh, a prosperous and healthy new year for 2018. Uh, take care of yourself, good luck, onwards and upwards. Take care, bye bye now.